All right, it is finally exhaust time. Main order of business today is going to be to get that header off. I need to pull the intake out of the way so I'm not dicking around it. Get the header out, cut the pipe just below the O2 sensor right before the flange and then remove the entire stock exhaust. Well, semi-stock. Then I can put the header back in and start angling my cuts on this bent piece here. Probably take like half a cut out of there and then run a section down and then put a flange and then straight pipe and flange just before the rear where it hops over the rear diff support link and then two dual exhaust tips coming straight out the back. So we're gonna get started on that. So obviously for the head bolts here, you want to PB blast, penetrant oil, whatever you got. But this stuff definitely works. It'll melt a styrofoam cup, but PB blast the shit out of these. Because if you break one off in the head, you're going to be pissed. Like proper pissed. Not like your dog ran away, like your girlfriend cheated on you and took her dog with her. All right, for anybody trying to get the EDR crossover tube, I think this is only on like 92 or 94 and up. Comes off right here, which is underneath here, looking at it from the top of the motor. It's a bitch, but it's a 22. Your best bet is to either have a 22 stubby. I buy it from a tool shop or parts store and then take it back when you're done. Just don't fuck it up. Otherwise, what was it? A crescent wrench mm -hmm. and a hammer just to break it loose. And then you can kind of get a 22 up from the bottom right against the block and slowly loosen this captive nut. And then everything should come right out. So now what I need to do is get the rest of the heat shield off. I'm going to remove all the heat shield tabs so that I can wrap this exhaust. I also want to get rid of this restriction right here because that is tiny as hell. So I'll probably cut it up up here to where it'll be about a two and a half inch diameter and run my diagonal pipe coming down off of that. I need to relocate this bung. So I'm going to get to cutting, chop all this stuff off and go from there. Okay, cleaned off all the heat shield mount. I'm gonna take a buffing wheel to those and smooth them out a little bit, but not too much because I don't want to remove any of this actual metal, making them thinner than they already are. It's gonna get wrapped anyway, so I'm not too concerned about it. I then took my new pipe and butted it up against this until it fit perfectly, scribed it, and then cut the scribe, and now it's exactly two and a half to two and a half. So then I can take my O2 bung, Drill a hole, weld that in right there so my O2 sensor will be right back where it was before. And then cut me some pie wedges or angle cuts out of this to replicate the original so that it ends up right under the car where it's supposed to be. I'll put a flange right there so that this whole piece can come out as one again if needed. And then another flange on my straight, run the straights and go from there. Now that I have the exhaust manifold cleaned up enough to wrap, put it back on the car and then go underneath here and we can see where we're lining up at. And what we're gonna do is take our tape and get a general measurement. Looks like probably a foot and then it needs to kick over with a bend. Looks about right. 
So about 12 inches to the bend and then um, I may need to angle it a little bit to get it around this mount, but should make it work. All right, after a lot of angling and chopping and re-angling and tacking and marking and angling and tacking, I got a, I guess a short tube header. Yeah, we'll call it a short tube, but it would have been a lot easier if I'd have just purchased a header, but I'm cheap and I have pipe and I have a welder. So I've got it now where it's gonna open up to two and a half and stay two and a half all the way down to this collector. This is where it goes straight and put another flange on the straight pipe and then run the straight back and then I'll have a little hump to get past the diff but that'll be pretty easy now after doing all of this. So now it angles right down next to the block. It mounts to the original block support so the header doesn't wobble and blow your exhaust manifold gasket. So now it'll lock up where it's supposed to. I just need to drill the hole for the O2 sensor and mount that up and this is pretty much done. So I'm gonna let it cool down and then get it back in the car and then start on the rear subsection. This is what was in the car and this is what we're putting in the car. A lot better. I, I would think so. So we got this stubborn bitch back in. We got the bung mounted for the O2 sensor. That was fun. Be gentle with those, they're expensive to replace and when your O2 sensor isn't bad, it's a pain in the ass if you have to replace one. Luckily I didn't. That's it for today. I think tomorrow we'll be putting the one of the flanges on a straight pipe, running it to the back and then getting the kink over the rear diff section. I'm filthy, I'm tired, Rusty's over it. So that's good enough for today. Part one complete of two and a half inch exhaust on a Miata. Tomorrow will be part two. We'll knock that out tomorrow afternoon. So as always, like if you like, subscribe if you want, and keep modding. There we go.